This is the second part of our introductory video clip and what we have over here is a simple form that we've created in Delphi 2010 as part of the school syllabus for South Africa, the CAPS based school syllabus for FET and if we run this application you will see we have a DB grid control with a DB navigator that we've assigned to the um, data source that is assigned and connected again to a table if we click over here <coughs> our data source refers to a table a data set there the data set property refers to that table which then refers to a client table as part of an access database specified in the connection and what we would like to do the cap specifies that we need to be able to manage the data and do some queries on it and what we're going to do in our sample application I'm going to close it over here but before I do that we're quickly going to have a look we're going to have a look at the ages we see that we have the ages of the various um, clients over here and let's say we need to write some code that will go and um, determine the average age of the various of all the clients and then we're going to do that with a specific button that we're going to add so first what I'm going to do I'm just going to move my DB navigator or my DB grid to the top a little bit. We're going to create it, make it a little bit bigger for us so that it looks looks nicer. Move up our DB navigator. Now the nice thing is, if we make our table active over here on the properties, then we have a copy of the data in memory and we can see over here um, the data that we have it's while we're busy in the design time of our application. And I can see that one of the field names there is age. So what we want to do is we're going to add a button right over there and in that button then we want to create some code that will get the average age for me all right so in that button then if i double click on the button i get the on click event <coughs> we're going to use some logic so if we want to get the total i'm going to add a form class public variable for the total age all right the total age and i'm going to say c or i total age of the type integer. I declare this variable over here as part of the form class then I have access to it with all my methods. I didn't give button one a nice name, I should have, but that doesn't matter, we can always give it a nice name later. Now over here is where the logical part comes in. If we work through the table, if we press F12 then my form comes up, you know that we need to go to the first record, get the value of the first record's age field, and then accumulate it to my I total. Each time going to the next record, up until I've reached the last one. And this is the typical type of logic that we would like to embed with the learners in problem solving. So what we're going to do, it's very, very easy. All right, so we have our event over here. And for this event, we're now going to write the code that's going to um, if we have a look at our screen, we're going to add up all the ages of the clients and then divide it by the number of clients to get the average age. So what we're going to do, we need to go, if we have a look at our normal programming logic again, we need to go to the first record, get the age, add it to a variable, go to the next record, and we need to do that until we've reached the end or the last Record. So what will the code be for the button? We're going to say data module ADO table 1 and we're going to say go to the first record. All right, so that is how we go to the first record and move our record pointer. There's always an active record and that's the current one. If I move my record pointer later when I compile it, the record pointer will move to the next record and then that becomes the active record. So go to the first and then typical logic while not and then you're going to say data module one dot ADO table dot end of file end of file do and then we go go into our normal loop begin and now we have our variable i total age so we need i total age equal that is the assignment one and now we know that by looking at our database over here there's a field with the name of age and I want to get the current record age and how am I going to do that I'm just going to say put the bracket over there say age and then it will refer to the age field but we need to add that value very important this is a variant it will return 
variant data type so the compiler will determine the type during runtime so I will say I total H plus and then typical logic that they need to know for instance as part of the CAPS curriculum is that we go to the first record get the value and then we must go to the next record so now if we go to the next record it will go to the next record move the record pointer get the value add it up so the only thing that we now need to do is we need to give the user the answer and we can do it in many ways so I'm going to use a show message over here and for my show message I'm going to say the average age for the client is and then we're going to say, all right, what is it? It's the I total, total age over there, divided by, we're doing integer division, div, divided by 80, and then now we can, the number of records that I have. So it's data module 1, ADO table 1, data module 1, ADO table one dot and then there's a record count property there we go and it's a property that returns the number of records now very important an integer that's an integer that's being returned there we can see divided by an integer gives me an integer and I would like to concatenate it to a string so I just need to say int to string alright and now another bracket there just to close it off and I think there's my complete program and my code let's just save it all let's run it let's give it a compile very important now if I click on the button it will get the value of the age field add it to I total get to the next one check to see if it's not the final one add it and do that typical type of logic that we need, need to teach the learners when solving problems when iterating through a set so if we click over there you will have seen it ran through and it says the average age for the clients is 33 I could have displayed that on a label or whatever means I would have seen possible so this is just a quick demonstration of how to connect to a database and do some operations with it you could easily edit the data and stuff like that but I will leave that for another example